There is, I think evolution in general goes the way that we try to make the devices as small as possible. So in general, what we're using these days uh, in the optical systems, this is a century long back technology. This is how like the regular lenses, this is how they focus the light. You need to have a certain curvature. And if you would like to change the focal spot position, you either need to repolish it, like change the curvature of the lens, or add some other lenses and change mechanically the distance between, between them. But uh, for in case of meta surfaces, everything happens on this interface. So depending on the microstructure, on the shape, uh, on their positions, and um, you can have uh, similar functionality. We particularly pursue the direction of uh, reconfigurable meta surfaces because this is quite unique for the field. Uh, it's, it's as I said, it's it's a holy grail for optical engineers to have a reconfigurable optical systems. So recently in our group, uh, we uh, found out a new material type, which is called calcogenide glasses or like phase change materials. One of them from that family is a well-known one. This is the GST material, which is used in uh, Blu-rays and CDs and DVDs. But that material, so we adapted this kind of family of the materials and ex extended it towards the optical properties. So we tried to reduce its uh, absorption losses. In one state, this material, it's like amorphous. In another state, we, we bring this material to, a, it forms a crystal lattice. So it's a very structured and formed material. And then there are also some states in between. How do we transition this material from one state to the other one? I think more interesting is the approach of heating it locally by electrical pulses. This will be on-chip controlled, uh, lens, a zoom lens in this case, so that is our nearest term goal and uh, of course we would like to increase its efficiency, in increase its bandwidth, so then it could be integrated into uh, night vision devices or potentially we could consider other types of materials, so we it could be also used for visible in, in cameras, uh, cell phone cameras. This is more like an optical engine, which hopefully the next researchers will pick it up and see how, how they can apply it. What we envision, it's a fully reconfigurable optical system.